This is Top Shop Podcast. Shop Podcast. Top Shop Podcast. Podcast for automotive service business owners by Paul Donahue. Hey, another awesome guest here at the 2024 MAP Conference in beautiful Orlando, Florida. We got Anthony Allen, Bolton Technology, Director of Enterprise Sales and Business Development at Bolton. Anthony was raised in the automotive and restoration market. Uh, he's been leading the Bolton uh, sales team now for over four years, specifically through their uh, merger with Bolton and my shop manager. So Bolton thrives on the company. It thrives on shop success space and specializes in car count management, uh, specifically digital inspections, CRM, and reputation management. So this is really, really great guest to have on for you shop owners because every all of those are very important aspects. Uh, real quick before we get into our yeah. questions. Um, you said car count management. So I got 200 cars. Explain that to me again. I, I've got 200 cars yeah. coming in. I want to maximize. Well, I mean, you know, we talked about, I mean, everybody knows it's been talked about over and over and over again ad nauseum, the shortage of technicians, the lack yep. of parts, these things. So for us, what we realized about three, four years ago was the fact that there's no room for more cars. And through our integrations with our shop oh, management nice. systems, the most important thing out there is the data that exists. Okay. So for us, if you are doing 200 cars a month, 300, whatever it may be, we want to line up every slot with the most profitable customers possible. The gravy jobs, brakes, we can always fit those in, right? Right. Instead of working on trainings, engine swaps, things like that, that are doing a hold down a bay for two weeks. Right. Or on the other side of the spectrum, those oil changes and those cheaper customers. So we try to load our customers up. When we talk about car count management, it's focusing on quality over quantity, if that makes any sense. Okay. And now shop owners can get more information on boltontechnology.com, correct? That's right. All yeah. right. Awesome. So how is Bolton addressing the challenges of supply chain disruption and ensuring a consistent supply of quality parts for independent auto repair shops? Yeah, that's a great question. I think that what we've experienced now, especially on the business development side, as we try to reach out to I mean, currently getting close to 9,000 repair shops that we work with in the aftermarket, we have our fingers on the pulse. Right. And 9,000 repair shops, yeah. <laughs> I'll bet you do. Yeah, we, we really do. And, and the good thing for us is that education that they provide us on a day-to-day -day basis. And specifically with regard to the weight on parts, it's constantly being changed. I mean, we will see in specific regions without the, throughout the country and in Canada, we'll find that the weight on parts is affecting the northern part of a state and the southern part of the state doesn't mean it's just, for us, when we talk about car count management, the most important thing is creating bays that are filled with their most profitable customers. That's it. And the data exists within their shop management system for us to target, especially when it comes to decline work. Right. With decline work, you come in as a customer, we say, hey, your synthetic oil change is performed, your brakes look great, you have eight months worth of life left in those pads. That data exists in your system. Right. Okay. So bolt-on technology can go out and target whether it, the weight on whatever part it may be, we can exclude certain things the profit is in the data. Well, I think uh, you said the magic word for a repair shop owner. Um, how do I fill the bay with the most profitable work that I can, right? Absolutely. And uh, the shop owner can get more information about that on the website? Yes, boltontechnology.com, specifically our CRM would help them uh, manage that trauma. Okay, uh, technology and training support. I think this one's right up your alley. Sure. What investments uh, is Bolton uh, making in terms of technology and training programs to help repair shops stay current with the rapidly evolving automotive technologies such yeah. as electric and autonomous vehicles. Yeah, I would say specifically our service writer training. We do a lot of work at the counter at Bolt-On educating from a sales perspective how to give their customers the information they need. To, and it's organizations like MAP that provide us with the information that we are able to convey to these independent shop owners because so many of them are afraid to touch electric vehicles. Right. So many of them are, you know, with the L3 certification and things, so many techs are going out and grabbing those. Uh, you know, you're not replacing the whole battery. You're only replacing certain parts. We want to be able to give the service writers, the owners, the information that they need right. to increase profit margins considerably with electric vehicles. It's such an interesting space, and I think that all of us are learning. Right. right. I don't think I don't think it stops. And I and what Bolt on has committed to is over the next few years is continuing that education and providing that to the shop owners that quite frankly, I think we all can relate to it. 
they don't have time to leave the shop to educate themselves on innovative technologies and things that are changing throughout the industry. They do their best, but right. car counts are oppressive and it's hard to keep up. So it's bolt on's responsibility in a certain way to give them as much education as we possibly can. And, and MAP is a big reason for that. How long has Bolton been uh, providing uh, education to the uh, independent repair shop owner now? Since 2013. 2013. Yes. Okay. All right. So you guys are, yeah. Yeah. Just uh, headed over your, your decade, 10 years. Yep. How important is AMRA MAP program to Bolton? Oh, I don't think I can really put it into words. I'll, I would say that the most important thing that we preach, especially with the digital vehicle inspections, is transparency with the customers. Showing that customer what you performed, why it's important, why it's imperative to their vehicle, to the longevity of their vehicle. What MAP represents is the highest standards possible. Right? That back and forth and that education with the customer. Our technologies, specifically those digital vehicle inspections, they promote that on a day-to-day -day basis with every single customer that walks through that repair shop. So um, we find ourselves very much in unison with a group like MAP uh, for those reasons and, and just because we want to be able to take that gray area out. Right? In, in the litigious world that we live in, reducing liabilities and not to mention just that relationship with your customers, that's what takes a repair shop. And we've seen them pop up through COVID and, and over the last five years, people right. that are going into this space, we want to see them there in 40 years. And right. I think it's groups like this and um, technologies like ours, I'm a little biased, but that provide that transparency and allow things like that to occur. Okay, awesome. Uh, how does a map help you build trust with your customers, with the Bolton customers? Yeah, you know, MAP has their own certified digital inspection right. Right, that we provide. Again, just being aligned with them is allowing us to say, it's that stamp of the highest standards in the industry. And that's, uh, why should trust, uh, you kind of already touched on it, but uh, why should organizations uh, join uh, the Automotive Maintenance Repair Association? Yeah, I, I think if if your business, especially you know with all the enterprise groups that we deal with, we promote MAP because MAP is, in, in many ways, it's allowing those shop owners, whether it's at the, the dealer side or whatever it may be, I, I don't care if you have 30 locations or if you have one. Right. It's it's that stamp of approval to say, I'm here to protect you as the vehicle owner. Great, yes, and this is something that I, in my uh, workshops that I do for auto repair shop owners, is how to build trust on their, on their digital presence yeah. right away. And this is one of the ways that not only a repair shop should do it, but the big corporations Use, utilize the same thing that you hear me preach about in my workshops. Get those uh, Google reviews front and center. Uh, get the ASA, AMRA, get those badges on your website front and center. Subconsciously, it sends those trust signals to your potential consumer and it helps them make the decision on what shop they should take their automobile to. Well All right, Anthony, thanks a lot for your time. Thank we you really appreciate me. it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. so, and uh, one of the, you know, of course, one of the reasons that any organization should join uh, uh, MAP is Conferences just like this, we, we get to meet other people in the industry. Yep. So uh, get on the MAP uh, um, uh, AMRA, AMRA website and check out the conferences. You want to come to these MAP conferences. For additional automotive resources and exclusive content, follow us on Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all our episodes. Thanks again for joining us in the driver's seat, and we'll see you next time for another thrilling episode of Top Shop.